Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 10th annual DARPEN Extraordinary Achievement Awards. You know, my wife was saying earlier, this is her favorite event of the whole year, and it's the only one she asked me, when is it actually coming so we can put it in the calendar? And uh, it's just a lot of fun, and it's so well done. Thank you very much uh, for our, to our partners at DARPEN for allowing Air Canada to support you on this, the 10th anniversary celebration of extraordinary achievement within the South Asian community. It's a pleasure to be back at DARPEN again, third year in a row. I feel like being part of the DARPEN family now. This award is not for me. This award is for the women of Afghanistan. Thank you, DARPEN. Thank you to, to DARPEN for having me and presenting this. This uh, tremendous award is a huge honor, and it's a huge honor to be in the same room with such impactful and uh, dignified guests, and uh, it's very motivating for me, and I'm going to continue my journey. Thank you, Darpan, for having me here today and giving me this amazing award. And thank you for this award. It's not for me, it's for all the law enforcement, women and men working day and night to make our community strong. It's for all the volunteers that you don't see out in uniform. Thank you, uh, Darpan, for this honor. Thank you, Peter Raju. Magazine, I really appreciate the support and recognition of my art practice. I am so grateful that life has given me some gifts and I share them. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of my father, I just wanted to say that he believes that Darpan Magazine's uh, efforts in this way to recognize uh, prominent Indo-Canadian members of our community is absolutely important. Thanks to Darpur Magazine, who chose us for this prestigious award. I'd like to thank Darpan for this award and for all of you being here. Such an inspiration to see so many people dedicating so much of their lives to the benefit of others. <laughs> Thank 